<laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. <laughs> Check it out. Um, if you hear some yelling in the other room, that's my son. He's in there playing Fortnite with his friends. So uh, he's off today. I'm off today. It's a recipe for disaster, but we're chilling. Yo, um, happy uh, President's Day. Happy President's Day. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. And um, I figure I'll just make this quick video because I want to let you guys know also, I am on Twitter. Yes, I am. I'm on Twitter. And uh, it's been a long time, but some people told me that they wanted to see me on Twitter for some reason. I don't know. I'm not so big on social media because I've often said to myself, I says to myself, I says, Mark, I says, it seems like the more we get into social media, the more antisocial we get. And, uh... You know, every time I go on there, it's like people arguing, nobody listens, nobody wants to respect each other's opinions. So I'm like, well, what is the, what's, what's the point? But um, I figured it would be fun to give it a try. So there I am. I'm on Twitter. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You guys can look me up and say what's up. It'll be good to see you. Um, also, I have a Patreon page. I, at least I think I set it up right. It's in the uh, description box as well. You guys can check it out. I I don't know anything about this, guys. So if you, if it takes you someplace like, you know, to uh, Osama land or something like that. It's not my fault. I don't know. Let me know. But uh, there it is. Everything will be in the description box. But I figured I would do a quick one, guys, because I want to point this thing out. Now that I'm on Twitter, I'm following everybody, including everyone in the fandom menace, you know. And, um, you know, I saw uh, Ichibaka, right? He's got this, um, this uh, post out now where he's talking about Pablo Hidalgo. Now, a couple of days ago, I saw the Pablo Hidalgo, I saw the Mrs. Pablo Hidalgo post, where she's going at the Star Wars fans, and then she wants to backpedal and act like she's not going against the Star Wars fans. I'm like, you, 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 punk, you, look at you, you coward. You know, stand behind your words, woman. But no, I wasn't talking about Star Wars fans. I can talk as greasy as I want, but then I'm going to walk it back and say it wasn't me. Isn't that just like a woman? Anyway, so... Once she got pushed back from the fandom menace, as she should have, uh, she said that she wasn't talking about uh, Star Wars fans. And then here comes Pablo swinging in. Oh, 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 right. And he's like, um, listen, you can say whatever you want about me, but you leave that poor woman out of it. If you harm one hair on her head, I will find you and I will kill you. And I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Pablo, the only skill you have is rolling up in the McDonald's drive-thru and ordering a number four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> and that's your skill. I don't think any of us have anything to worry about from you, Pablo. But then Pablo goes and puts out, according to Ichibaka, he goes and puts out a, a, a list, and it's a hit list. And it's a hit list of, uh, of um, YouTubers that he uh, says are full of hate and, you know, everyone should not be associated with them because they're messing up what we love and all this stuff. And on this list, he has, um, he has, uh, who does he have on there? He has all the people that we love, all the people that we stand by. He has geeks and gamers. He has comic artists, pro secrets. He has a uh, uh, world-class book. WCB, my son's in the other room. I try not to cuss when he's here. He's got uh, that Star Wars girl. He's got Jesse Milestone. He's got reviews for you. And then the, art the article gets cut off, so you can see that it goes on. It's like there's more people on there. You could be on there. I could be on there. I don't know. Everybody could be on there. So um, it's just ridiculous, guys. And I just want to say, Disney Lucasfilm, have you had enough yet? Are you tired of being in the dumpster with these, these, these uh, scumbags? that are clearly a liability to your brand, you must realize the customers are always right. The customers will always win. Xavier, get away from the door, I told you. Don't disturb me. All right, I'll be out in a minute. Never met a kid yet who could follow directions. You know, the, the clearest way to get a kid, actually, Xavier, Xavier, come here. Not gonna be not gonna be happy until he does. Come come in here and say hi. Just wave to the camera. Yo. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my sunrise. All right, now get out and wait for me. Huh? Yo. 
Play NBA 2K19. It's better than Fortnite. Ooh, he says play NBA 2K19. It's better than Fortnite, he says. And it is. Yes, it is. So uh, <laughs> there he is. But uh, we've been playing that all day, guys. NBA 2K19. What's up? <sighs> but uh, anyway, where was I? Um, I was just talking about the nerve of uh, Pablo Hidalgo and uh, people like him and Disney. Listen, Disney Lucasfilm. You got to understand these people are a liability. The customers will have the final say. We will stomp your ass. Yes, we will. Okay? We, we, the people, stand with everyone you put on that list. You must understand that. All you're doing is exalting them because they're telling the truth. And you have a problem with people telling the truth. Jeremy's telling the truth. Ethan's telling the truth. Jeff is telling the truth. Anne is telling the truth. Jesse's telling the truth. Craig is telling the truth. We're all telling the truth. And we have the right to tell the truth as we see it. We all saw the movie. We didn't like it. We're talking about The Last Jedi. We all saw what you've been doing with every other thing. Star Wars Resistance. All of the plans that you have coming into the future. We have the right to speak out about this. This is social media. These are our platforms. The people who you find in the comment section are people who listen and feel the same way. You're not just pissing off these people. You're not just targeting these specific people. They are representatives. We are representatives, and they're representatives of us. We all ride together. You mess with one of us. You mess with all of us. That's the way it's going to be. You guys are ignorant as hell because you don't seem to understand this, and you're going to learn the hard way. Come December, come the opening of um, come the opening of Galaxy's Edge, all of it. I'm talking about the Mandalorian. I'm talking about whatever you're doing with the Clone Wars because I know that you're not going to do it right because you're Disney Lucasfilm. There is no, are they going to do it right? Could they do it right? No, they're not going to do it right because it's Disney Lucasfilm and they have no idea what they're doing. The Cassie and Andor show, who cares? We're talking about the Jedi. We're talking about Star Wars. We're talking about the mythos. And you guys want to keep on experimenting. What if we do this? What if we do that? What if we don't give them this, but give them that? What if we do what we want to do and don't listen to the fans? The fans have only sustained you for 40 years and more. But you feel like for some reason you don't want to listen. All of those people that Pablo has on his little freaking Deadpool list, all of them are passionate. All of them have ideas. You would do well to listen to the fans. You would do well to invite them into your fold as creative consultants somehow. And here you are, you have free creative consultants because you don't have to pay us. All of us who are in front of the camera, all of us who are in the comment section, all you have to do is go down, scroll down. Oh, I, I just did up. Scroll down and see what people are talking about. That's all you have to do. But no, you people are just more... Uh, preoccupied with fighting with people and trying to silence people and shut them up. You should be ashamed of yourself. We have a God-given right to say how we feel. We have a God-given right to feel how we feel. No one is going to take it away. No one is going to stop us. So you can pinpoint, you can name all these people you want. It's not going to work. Why don't you understand that? It's not going to work. All it's going to do is make us stronger. And your movie, your projects, everything you have on the horizon will burn. No matter what you say, get a clue. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for now, anyway. Um, I'm going to get going. I just want everyone out there to know. I want everyone in the fandom menace to know that we are strong, we stand together, and I want you guys to stand strong and rock on. We won't fail, all right? And I want you to know that I stand with you. We all stand together. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. I will catch you in the next one. You can like, share, subscribe. Um, check me out on Twitter. Also, I'm going to leave a link. I have a Patreon page, like I said before. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I set it up right, so check it out. Let me know. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.